Hello, 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 my beautiful friends. Welcome back, everyone. It's Marta here. Welcome in another episode of Five Supply Journal, Five Supply Challenge. If you're not familiar with this, it's okay. I'm going to show you and teach you everything. Uh, the pages that you are seeing now, these were all made with limited amount of supplies. This is the best way to start, to actually art journal, to just try it out. Use whatever you have, supplies that you have around you and limit yourself to five only. I have some basics which I'm going to show you but all of these pages have been made with really a rather little amount of things. I think it's a great way because it's a challenge but at the same time you are not pressuring yourself with using oh, this and that and you are overwhelmed and confused maybe. Limit yourself to few supplies, surround yourself with just five things and I promise you will love uh, the actual process of creative, uh, of creative art journey. Link. You will uh, be making a page with me today. I hope you will join me. I hope you will try it and let's do something. My uh, spread is ready uh, to be covered with beautiful things. What do I have here? A book. This book is from Arteza, but please use whatever you have. It can be old book, it could be art journaling, professional book, it could be a magazine that you cover up with, uh, just so on top and just doodle an art journal there. It can be anything you really wish to use, it can be anything you have. I'm starting with just a masking tape and this one is from hardware store, also a cheap way of actually using some supplies. I like to put things uh, in, in, in the middle, in the spine, so if I am doing any sort of mediums in there, not much is going to be spilling out, going through the pages and the pages will stay together as well. Now I do like working on kind of hard page, so this one in particular, this one is um, put two, two, two pages are glued down together, so you may do that, especially if you're using old book. Uh, I think using old book is is so amazing. Um, I think also it's <laughs> cheap and it's um, it's just very unique way because you have this amazing background already with the text. Uh, try to use your book upside down. How is that? How about that? That would be quite special. That's how I love doing it. I'm creating a little bit of interest to my background, a little bit of texture and masking tape seems to be not only cheap but a great way to just add a little bit of interest to your project. Now I have some, uh, is it very bright? I hope it's not too very bright for you. I have this texture pages now and what else I have? As I said, five supplies only. So I have papers. This one is a regular paper. This is a tissue paper. Well, no, sorry. It's actually rice paper. So that's one paper. My mediums, I have just so transparent and white. If you don't have it, that's okay. Try to work without them. It's possible. I also have the tape, as you have seen. So one, two, three. I have some um, gouaches. These are, these are watercolor but that's okay, you can use any paints you only have and I have some things for doodling, coloring, some pens and pencils so really five, one, two, three, four, five and a book of course inside where are we going to start? I think we're going to start by creating a background and I'm going to grab one of these pages absolutely loved them when I got them when I received it uh, I was like wow and this one is, I'm going to show you because it's a very pretty set this one is coming from Creative Pad from Ciao Bella. I got it in Papiria. Link will be below if I remember, but it's a Papiria uh, store from Germany. They ship worldwide if you wish to have a look. Oh yeah, sorry. <laughs> Let me show you quickly. It's a gorgeous set. I mean, it's a gorgeous paper. One thing I, I wish this to be that they have two pages of each, but unfortunately it's only one page, one design page. That's it. There's no doubles, which is a little bit upsetting, quite a lot actually because it's a gorgeous paper pad I'm pretty sure I'll be buying another one and this one is from uh, Craft O'Clock from Polish Brand I just love it I think it's an amazing page uh, design it's just spectacular so I'm gonna just using that as my background base it's gonna be just 
phenomenal as it is like I mean it's a work of art as it is so sometimes as well when you go around your stash try to see what's gonna match what's gonna look good what's gonna be easy on you uh, sometimes just choosing the right supplies even limited like five only but choosing the wisely the right supplies will be just an amazing uh, thing for you I'm gonna maybe put these two uh, like this I wonder if it's super bright because you know what for me it's quite quite bright so I may tone it down a little bit so that's what we have I'm gonna use transparent gesso as my starting point with my mediums but before that I think I need to <laughs> grab this and put this together because it's keep on opening on me and it's a little bit difficult to work with. Now recently someone, a friend of mine, have mentioned that the camera was too close and I was like, oh Ginny Mark, I hope I'm not too close on you. But then on the other hand, I thought it's good to see the product. So you could let me know in the comments if it's too close, if, if, if you prefer the further away sort of view. I just felt that maybe um, maybe it's good to see the project better but maybe it's only my understanding I don't know I'm getting confused sometimes because some people would say it's too close some people would say it's too too far and I'm like okay who should I listen to probably myself I should listen the most and that's what I'm trying to do so having it kind of close enough but not too close I love this picture like even like this what I'm seeing right now uh, and as I said to you choosing the right supplies now this transparent gesso is from Little Birdie it's my ultimate favorite since months and months I have been testing it out why, why it's so beautiful and uh, why it's so good it's the price quality coming with the price and also it is gluing down as you can see my uh, actual rice paper not every gesso would do it it's uh, there's no texture in that gesso plenty gesso would would have it I still didn't make the test on the gessos which I'm plan which I planned this year but oh well life happens guys and I'm not gonna be kicking myself and that I'm not able to what I have promised myself I'm not able to deliver sometimes and as I said I won't be kicking myself I've done that I think I'm I, I, I'm tired of trying to please myself the most as well and thinking oh Marta you've planned this for yourself you planned this to record you planned you said this like no Marta just go with the flow things not happening that's okay if the girls are home because they've been under weather that's okay you just let work less or you just push forward the the video for next day or something so you know I'm learning to just let go and kind of yeah stop beating myself I stopped that um, and big changes well I don't know if it's big changes for you but definitely changes are, are, gonna, are gonna happen for this channel mm. um, type of videos I think are gonna be different a bit uh, I have this huge need for recording a different way um, I think the old way will stay but I have this huge need for different type of videos for you as well that I wish to do I'm not saying anything more because um, in case it's not gonna happen <laughs> I'd rather say nothing um, but yes we have this gorgeous spread limited amount of supplies but yet how gorgeousness that looks already isn't it um, I'm gonna be grabbing my white gesso now and I will just go with a little bit of white gesso here in a few of these places like that as you can see just a little bit just to oops just to have like this breaking that um, tiny bit maybe so they're not that visible the the borders where the paper meets the paper if you don't have white gesso I suggest you to <laughs> to invest in one a uh, little birdie website it's keep on having the 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 just so sold out i don't know why is this happening but it feels that maybe set up yourself a reminder that every time they bring the gesso back in stock you'll be lucky to to go before they sold out they seems to be selling out super fast and which is great for them but every time i suggest it's like oh no sorry it's gone i'm like what <laughs> even to even gone for me uh, i'm not able to get it on time myself um, but nothing to worry guys get you, you'll get there you'll get there 
I have to ask little birdie what's going on. Why is this happening so soon, so fast? I'm thinking to grab this page as well. Um, it is a gorgeous page. Well, actually, do you know what? I may just grab this like that and maybe just go for a little bit of um, a little bit of this sort of oh, that could be difficult but let's try a little bit of wow oops ah, that's okay something like this oh wow we have to we have the we have the birdies everywhere flying and all um i just felt for using both but maybe i'm wrong in that i don't know let's see how about having this here a little bit this going there or something like that and even like oh this is gorgeous but even having another bird would that be would that be too many birds or not? I don't know. I'll see. I'll see. I just had. Ah, do you know what? I'm not even. I'm not even sure if it's too many. Why not? <laughs> um. I think that five supply challenge. I meant to do actually a five, uh, a three page winter edition, which I'm gonna do as well, maybe after recording this one. Uh, we've done three autumn pages, someone suggested, and I thought that, wow, wouldn't it be amazing to do the winter, actually? Three winter pages in five minutes, like, you know, limited amount of time, go, 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 quickly, 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 and all. So that would be f fantastic, I think. So hopefully this will happen. I just made a list of few videos that I wish to do before Christmas. Mm, the list that I had before, <laughs> it's barely f filled, so I thought, hmm, make another list, list of a list. <laughs> oh well, um, yeah, I have plenty lists and never ending filling them, <laughs> but yes, um, I can't believe it that it's the end of the year nearly, I can't believe it that it's like some sort of... I have this feeling that something is finishing. I don't know why is this happening, but I have this. We also, actually today when I checked, it was like 400 people uh, less before hitting, believe it or not, before hitting uh, 300,000 subscribers. Unbelievable number, like crazy huge. That's crazy huge to me anyway. So um, I was thinking today, wow. You know, uh, wow, this is huge. There's no joke anymore, Marta. 300,000, it's a huge. And I wish to somehow celebrate it, maybe somehow do something about it. <laughs> I'm just worried about time. But maybe, <laughs> maybe I'll manage. I think I just have to cut this this way and that's going to be far nicer. But look, even like taking this from here and go moving it there, it will work as well, I think, isn't it? Okay, I love it. I really love it. I think we need some sentence there. And we are gonna be nearly done because it's like, wow, it's it's like this beautiful. It's like this done. <laughs> okay, we're gonna do a little bit of gluing down now. Um, I'm gonna grab some just simple glue print stick. Mm -hmm. I'm still in this kind of, this year, I'm still in this mood of um, far more than last year, I think, of this winter, woodland, autumnal mood. Far more than I have been last year, for sure. Far longer, I'm trying to say, I guess. I don't know what sort of, what sort of, <laughs> what sort of, uh, is it good like that? I hope so. <laughs> what sort of... Um, I don't know if they like in, liking each other, those birds. <laughs> um, uh, what I was saying? Yeah. Marta, focus. I cannot focus because it feels that... Um, I just cannot focus. <laughs> I don't know what I'm thinking about. Oh yes, the, uh, the videos. Yes, I'm hoping to do some special video for the 300 people 
uh, subscribing, 300 friends of Maremi's YouTube channel. This is crazy, like when you think about it, it's like a small city and wow, only recently I was saying this to Lucas that oh, maybe this will happen before the end of the year or, or you know, like, and it's like nearly there and it's not even December yet, so <laughs> a little bit too soon. I wasn't expecting this because I really wanted to record something for that particular time, but may not happen, may not happen. But that's okay too. Well, no, it will happen, it's just not on time. <laughs> okay, I love this. I'm gonna grab a gesso as well, transparent gesso, covered up. We are covering up our papers with transparent gesso because we just love, absolutely love having the project primed and this way you are able to um, you are able to color on top, in between and all and just the color works magic um, mediums works magic on top of that I'm super happy that I'm nearly done with this page because do you know what it means? it means that not every video is gonna be like super long like Marta's videos are always super long far too long for people for me too sometimes no, no worries for me as well <laughs> and that means I can probably do this one more video like five five projects, uh, no, three projects in five minutes. Wouldn't that be fun? And Lucas can finish up the online shopping. I found a new camera. I'm so excited about new camera, new equipment for recording. So he may order that before the end of the year and I hope it's gonna happen tonight. <laughs> um, I'm still looking for something that will hold my lamps better because the lamp, current lamp, it's like ugh, not the best. Now I think it's a little too dark. Oh, I think it's because we have so much bright in here that it's just catching off too much light or something like that. Anyway, this is very gorgeous page. You must agree with me. I go. I, I guess. I hope you can agree with me. Oh, come on! And I'm gonna warm up my hands <laughs> a little bit. Oh. What's gonna be great about new camera, if I will be using that for project, is that it's not shutting down at all. This one that I'm using right now, this one, this one, it's shutting after 20 minutes, so I have to watch the clock when I chat and make sure that I'm gonna not, uh, that I won't miss the moment when it's shutting off and it's not recording. So that's a huge bonus. And also it has, I think I'll be able to make live videos with it. So it's gonna be like a third idea third and uh, third kind of um, supply to make live streams we we will see we will see okay this is done 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 I do believe that we could go with a little bit of what we usually do and we usually go with this tiny pen and no one is singing no one who cares about people's ears no one is singing <laughs> But I do sing a lot and I love that. Anyway, uh, Marta, Marta, Marta. Which color is going to suit the project better? This one or this one? Woo, this is a tough one. Oh, wow, this is a tough one. Oh, wow, I actually, yeah, I think I'm going to go for the brown one, which is my beautiful friend. It's called Bark 2000, number 2000. Inkton Servant number 20, no, number 2000 name, Bark. It's a bark color. It's a gorgeousness color, as you know. And, yeah, I love it. And I'm going to be doing a little bit of... A little bit of uh, shading shadowing here with that color so that our birdies and elements are gonna be a little bit standing out more and they're gonna be like floating in the page and they will look like as if they were kind of born to be on this page I will turn it around it will just make my life a little bit easier mm. and I certainly need a sip of coffee water or anything that it's wet. <laughs> anything. Anything. I have... No, I have nothing here. <laughs> oh, Marta, Marta. But I'm so excited to be back to studio because I'm a little tired. The night wasn't great. Hannah woke up at probably five scratching legs again and 
couldn't fall asleep for no sorry four o'clock she woke up couldn't sleep till f quarter past five the last time I checked was so uh, it was a little bit of a rough night kind of sleeplessy um so I may be a little bit shook today like probably that's why because it's what it's like 11 now yeah it's half 11 that's late for recording but it's also great because Hannah is upstairs Emily's upstairs she's starting exam tomorrow exams tomorrow in her school so all that busyness in the house and um, tiredness a little bit as well from the as I said from no, no sleep as such um but I'm also excited to be back to studio. I miss it when I don't record it. And Hannah is home again for the past few days. And I missed being in my studio more. I really do miss it. Like, I really do. Um, yeah. So, hopefully. I'm going to add some... Um, I'm, I'm just playing with water. But I'm going to add some here as well. Look, I'm going to make shadow on side of this, of those kind of... I don't know what's that, what, like the bird is sitting on some logs or something but I think it's gonna be looking gorgeousness as it is um, with adding these shades um, so yes I'm super excited as well I may sound tired, I may not sound as as excited or as happy or as bubbly jubbly touchy talkity <laughs> but I am, uh, I'm tired of course but I'm very happy to be back here even for a short clip like this as long as it brings smiles and inspiration as long as keeping you company as long as I'm doing something good do you know what I really I do care about the projects but I really care far more about just appearing here coming back you know and we've been in to very much Christmassy mood for the projects which is amazing uh, but I as I said I kind of for this year especially I feel very much for the woodland I, I I would love to make my own woodland collection I think I'm kind of in my head <laughs> ready for that look at it it's gorgeous it is gorgeous it's gorgeous it's gorgeous singing Marta not sure if it's a good sign oh I hear Lucas is gonna come downstairs now which means either we're gonna spend the evening now after I finish this together or I'm gonna record something else depending whether he is uh, he has things to be done now or not. If not, then I'm gonna join him and record tomorrow morning. Um, but we shall see. I used to, I remember I used to <laughs> record only in the night, but I think I'm just getting a little bit tired more than ever before with evening recording. It's not the same as it was. I don't know why is that. Am I not used to it anymore and still trying to be in the swing of it? Or is it that I'm getting older basically and it's my my tiredness is different. I like recording when Hannah is in school. I really enjoy that now. I used to never record daytime or super early morning sometimes but in general always was evening. If you know my old videos it's been always evening, evening. Uh, so it's quite interesting to notice these kind of changes and needs or lack of needs in me. I don't know. <laughs> I'm gonna add a little bit of that darkness in this oh look and it just gives this connection to the page uh, same for this on the side maybe and look very limited amounts of supplies pretty papers that certainly helps out to be <laughs> to making something pretty you don't even have to try hard I'm not that talented as some of you may think I'm just getting lovely things that will make even lovelier things I guess that's a good way to put it and be super honest about it um, it's just depending how you play play it all so uh, I'm gonna add maybe tiny bit more there and hi hi Lucas is here Lucas is here <laughs> Lucas is here I'm nearly finishing by the way, if you're wondering. Okay, I love that. I love this so much. I will dry this um, dry this out and pause the video because it's <laughs> over 20 minutes, which means it will shut down itself. But I'll be back in a second. 
And back to you. I'm gonna use a little bit of white doodles, kind of. I still think we should do a little bit of a title, something, some title. Which one of this could be just perfect? I don't know. The fire is winter's fruit. Something, something. The color, imagination, winter. I don't know, something. Um, I do think we can just have a little bit of... No, we need to definitely get some juices out from that. This one is from Arteza. They are actually good. I thought they not that great at first, but when I was like working more on, on it and really getting the white there, uh, the pigment, it's actually very good. It's actually very, uh, very good. So let's see. You see? You just have to certainly get a little bit of more pigment going on. A little bit of more sort of... Um, just press it more and all that would be the that would be good then I'm gonna just add the touches of that to the birdie maybe there we go now and same for this little fella I think we could do I'm, I'm doodling honestly when I do my white doodles I just I'm really not thinking of where I'm placing it. It's just like my, however my sort of, uh, what's the word, sort of uh, feel for it is or something like that, you know? There's no such a rule. Maybe there are some rules, but I mean, I'm not using any sort of rule towards how I'm doing my white uh, standing out and all. Okay, I think this is gorge, gorge, gorgeousness. A little bit of doodles this way. Look at this. This set, I'm going to show it to you because I think it's a worth of looking at it. Uh, it's Arteza. You have the links and you have the coupon code. It's the black and white, actually. 10 of acrylic mark, 20 of acrylic markers, but 10 black and 10 white. They, as you can see, they're really good. And price-wise, hmm, you could hit the jackpot here. Uh, but you have to shake it well, really. So look, limited amount of supplies, as you can see. Now, wow. <clears throat> last thing, because, oh no, one one thing before last thing. Um, I'm just gonna grab some titles, some, oh, a bunch of stickers that I have here. I'm gonna grab something that it's not too big. That is, um, let's see this one. This is what family looks like. What do we have here? White would be nice. Be in love with your life. Oh, I love that. And I, do you know what? It's matching my feel and all. So I'm going to grab it and have it there. And maybe one more. Oh, I love them all. Mm, this is the by, by, uh, by if you don't know, by... Small talk, um, Tim Holtz ideology. Mm. It's the little things that make life big. Now I'm gonna cut it because it's in the middle of the book of the spine thing. So it's the little things. It's the little things that make life big. I love it. Okay, I love it. I will grab some gesso there as well a little bit of transparent gesso on top so they will like stay and last and all oh, come on good like it's a sticker they should stick but sometimes it may not depending on your surface and I also think that I'm gonna grab a little bit of uh, quickly quickly zoom, 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 zoom. that gesso dries quite fast as well I have to say but I'm gonna grab as the last touch no white splashes this time but I think it would be lovely, lovely, lovely to have these tiny darker splashes. And if I can grab this one to see the splatters, there you go. There we go. Lucas is looking for the stand for my lamp, <laughs> which would be great to have. I'm gonna have some bit of that here, maybe. So um, I may actually record another video now 
since he's on the hunt for my lamp stand. Oh, I love things for studio, I love changing studio, wish to have a bit more time, but certainly I started last year cleanup of the studio, I remember, and I never finished it really like, like properly, and I feel that maybe I'm gonna do it this year. I started last year before Christmas and it dragged to huge changes which were needed and such a good idea that it happened. <laughs> but I feel I never really finished it like like fully fully. So I think it's time to kind of finish up. Um yeah, to clean definitely, to tidy up and and I have one change that I wish to make. I have one furniture that I purchased last year never put it in the studio but I think it's time to do it so I may do that this year especially that I need a little bit of space and that little that's not that little it's a huge furniture that's why I never I never brought it here it was like oh Ginny Mac I never expected this to be <laughs> so big okay wow my friends we are oopsie I just moved the camera we are done five supply challenge and a beautiful autumn uh, journal spread limited amount of supplies you have to say you don't need a lot to be creative to do something pretty to love your art to just you know oh there we go maybe a touch of that as well sometimes painting with dirty water is enough like <laughs> so there we go i really hope this was inspirational and yeah keep on practicing Keep on arting, don't give up, keep on going. As you can see, you don't need a lot. Oh, you don't even need a lot of time either. So I'm gonna wrap up with that, my beautiful friends. Wishing you a lovely day or evening whenever you are watching. I already miss you, but I do have to go to record another video for you. I know how much you love it. You miss me after each segment recorded, and me too. I do miss you already, so I better go make something else. Till the next time, happy crafting and I'll chat to you super very very soon. Bye!